Hi guys, welcome to another weekly workout. Today we have a completely 100% standing workout. So you have an option here if you have balance issues to do this workout with a chair. And I'm going to demonstrate the chair version today. So we're going to start off with a plie and an arm sweep all the way up. So take those feet nice and wide, turn the toes out, and then you're going to squat down into the plie and reach the arm up. Using one hand for balance on that chair. And if you don't have a chair, you can use the back of a sofa. Maybe you have a banister at the stairs. So those knees tracking towards the toes. And we're doing 20 reps here. 20 reps with a full range of motion. Trying to get the butt down level with the knees. And when you've done that 20th one, you're gonna come back down and pulse for 10. Now pulse is a little move one to two inches. Great job. Okay, we're gonna move on. So you're gonna come with, with those feet together. You're gonna bring the left leg in front, bend the right leg so you have a little, a little soften in the knee, and then you're gonna bring the knee up and then down. Now, you've got options here. You can tap the foot down. That's going to be a little easier. If you want to work harder, you're going to keep that foot off the floor. And then the harder version still is shown here. Just let go of the chair using balance. But making sure you keep that little bend in the supporting leg. Don't lock out the knee. Trying to keep that toe off the floor. Abs are braced. And again, we've got 20 reps. And after the 20th one, you're going to hold up and then pulse. 10 little lifts. Again, a couple of inches. Small, small move. And great job. Okay, we're going to come around again. You're going to use that same leg that you just used. And you're going to lift it out to the side. So bend the supporting leg and then lift it out and down. Now, as you can see here, my hips aren't moving. Squeeze in, pulling in the abs, and keep the foot flexed. Try not to point the toe, so when it comes down, you can get a nice full range of motion. And again, the harder version here with the arms out to the sides, or maybe you have the hands on the hips, or using that chair for that balance. But making sure that supporting knee is a little bent. And again, 20 reps. On that 20th one, you're going to hold up and pulse 10 times, 10 little pulses up and down. Great. Shaking out the legs if you need it, and then we're going to move into the next move, which is a front sweep. So that same leg that you just worked, you're going to bring it across towards the chair and back. Now notice how I'm not lifting it out to the sides again. It's coming straight through, working through the inner thigh. So the last move was a side leg lift. That was out. That was the outer thigh. Now we're going to work the inner thigh, pushing through towards that chair. Again, the option. One or more both out to the side. Again, that little bend in the supporting leg. After the 20th rep, you're going to hold it in and then pulse. 10 little lifts up, up, up. Great job. All right, one more move for this leg. So same leg, lean over the chair, bend the knee, and I'm going to do a donkey kick back. Now notice how my thighs come back together. Not lifting the knee into the chest. I'm just squeezing that butt back. Back is long, belly is in. Just squeezing through the glutes. I don't know if you can see here, but I've got one arm out to the side as a harder version. And then, option, you can have both arms out. Or you can carry on holding onto that chair. Making sure the back is nice and long, pulling the belly in. You know, really feel this in the glutes. 
And again, on that 20th one, hold it and pulse. Just a little move back and forth. Small, small, small. That'll really focus on the glutes. Great job. All right, so you can move around to the other side. We're gonna work the other side now. Starting with that plie, feet wide, toes out, arm out, come down, reach up. Come down, reach up. And again, knees track towards the toes. Now notice how my outside toe, when I come up, I'm pointing through the toe just to get a little bit more range of motion. Make sure you squat down, try and get as deep as you can. Ideally coming so the butt is level with the knees. Reaching that arm all the way up. And that pull squeezing up and down. Great job. Okay, coming into that standing position. Supporting like a little bent, leg in front, and then you're gonna lift the knee up and down. So again, bend that supporting leg, lift the outside leg up, arm out if you want to. Trying to keep that leg off the floor. Working a little harder by not taking the break, by placing the foot down. And think about the range here as well. The knee comes up to hip height. Keep the abs engaged, pull the belly in. And the pulse, squeezing up and down. Small move, small move. And great job. Shake out the legs if you need it. All right, so the side leg lift. Again, same leg, out to the side and down. So again, try and keep the foot off the floor. Tapping down is gonna be a little easier, so if you need that option, take it. Supporting leg is bent. Remember the option, you can use the chair or you can just extend those arms out. Every day our balance is different. And the pulse, squeezing up and down. Small, small move. Great job. So give the legs a shake if they need it. Working that same leg, you're going to sweep it through towards the chair. So reset your position. Sweeping the leg through towards the chair. And again, try and flex the foot here. Sweeping it in front. Supporting leg, a little bent, arm out if you want to work a little harder. This is all about focusing through the leg. So really lengthen through the legs. Really focus on control. And the little pulse. Ten little pulses towards the chair. Great job. All right, we have one move left. So the donkey kick on that same side, shake the legs out if they need it, bend the knees, lengthen, and then squeeze that leg back. Again, thighs come parallel, the knee is bent. Squeeze it back, like you're pushing back towards the wall. Squeeze the glute. Notice the back is long. So even on the chair, notice how my elbows are a little bent. You don't want to lengthen out the arms too much. A little bend in the elbows. And the 
pull, squeezing up and down. Great job guys, shake out the legs. And if you had a little more time, then rewind it. So a great job. Don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe in my channel. I put out new workout videos every Wednesday. Bye.